Calluses on the heels are one of the most common complaints we get in podiatry. Not only is it unsightly and embarrassing, it can also be aggravating and painful. The dry, rough, and hard skin can make walking, running, and other fitness activities very difficult. Deep cracks called fissures can develop. These cracks can become painful, become full thickness of the skin and bleed, and can lead to infections. Although women tend to complain about it more often, it occurs just as often in men. Many people think the cause of heel callus is their shoes, but that's not the only cause of this problem. There are some jobs that require a person to be on their feet many hours of the day, and that can also contribute to this issue. Other causes include increased body weight, neurologic conditions which lead to dry skin, like diabetes, medication, wearing shoes without socks, wearing non-supportive shoes very often like flip-flops and sandals, dry weather, or a combination of any of these things. Foot types such as having high arch feet or even flat feet can make this issue more likely. You may not like to hear this ladies, but high heel shoes are notorious for making this problem worse especially shoes that have just a strap in the back or a backless. By the time the patient comes to see me, the problem is usually pretty severe. They have tried everything at home, from creams, ointments, callus files, pumice stones, pet eggs, amapase, pads, and insoles, you name it, nothing has worked. These patients tend to hide their feet even from their significant others. They wear socks all the time, even around the house and to bed. Some have even told me that they have problems with intimacy because of this heel problem. So when they finally come in to see me, I discuss any of the issues that may be contributing to the heel callus. The types of shoes they wear, the work that they do, fitness and activity level, medical issues, how often they go to a salon, and all the things they've tried at home that have failed. Like calluses found elsewhere, those in the ball of the feet develop as a result of chronic pressure and friction. In this case, under the fifth metatarsal head, this callus is quite thick and painful. Calluses over or just under a bunion are very common. Pressure and friction develop in the skin between the shoe and the underlying bone. So these calluses can form very quickly. The medial side of the big toe is another place common for the formation of calluses. There is not much tissue between the skin and the bone. So if the shoes are too tight or there's stiffness in the big toe joint, the pressure and friction can build up very easily. In the comments section of my videos, sometimes people ask why I do not soak the feet prior to treatment. I actually do, it's just not always caught on film. Usually what happens is that my medical assistants 
take the patients out of the foot bath after 10 minutes, which is before the time I come into the room to treat them. So what can be done about these calluses? What can be done to prevent them from returning? The treatment plan varies from patient to patient, but all get regular trimming of the calluses every two months until they come under control. Those with biomechanical issues, such as flat feet or high arch feet, will need custom motor orthotics to help control those issues. Of course, moisturization is very important. Most lotions and creams will do fine, but if they don't work for a particular patient, I highly recommend shea butter or other emollients. I also make shoe recommendations based on the patient's lifestyle and occupation. It is okay for people to take care of their own feet as long as they can one, reach their feet easily, two, have good vision, and three, do not have underlying medical issues such as diabetes or anything else that causes neuropathy or poor circulation. I never recommend that people use sharp tools on their feet at home. These include scalpels, blades, knives, or scissors. It is possible to get rid of calluses once and for all, but it will take a combination of all the things I discussed to make that happen. There is no one thing or no one trick to make calluses go away forever. So if you've been suffering from calluses for a long time and you've tried everything under the sun, it's time to see a podiatrist. This doctor will put everything together to figure out what your issues are and to figure out a treatment plan that will help get rid of this calluses once and for all. This is Kevin Jefferson, the DC Foot Doctor. Thank you for watching this video. Like it with a big thumbs up. To see very interesting cases and my approach and techniques to dealing with them and to learn how you can improve your foot health, subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell so you will know when a new video has been uploaded. Follow me on social media at DC Foot Doctor. Most importantly, take care of your feet.